Today I'm going to be showing you how I pack my camera equipment into my carry-on suitcase for travel. This year I've been traveling quite a lot for work so it's safe to say I've become a bit of a pro at packing my camera gear. So I have one carry-on suitcase and also this handbag which I use to carry on all my equipment onto the plane with me. I don't like checking in my camera equipment in my big suitcase that goes on the aeroplane without me just because of safety reasons and I also don't want anything to break. So I make sure I carry all my important equipment with me on the aeroplane. So this is the equipment that we have that are going to fit in these two bags. So what's going in my suitcase today are two Canon 5D Mark III's, three prime lenses, a 24, a 35 and a 50mm, a Sony A7S with a mic, tripod and a 28mm lens, the DJI Mavic Pro drone, Lomo Instant camera plus film, a 600EX speedlight, I have a pile of SSDs and hard drives, which I use to edit off from my laptop as well as using for backups, a MacBook Pro, a Wacom tablet, a mouse pad and a mouse, memory cards, little things like my iPod Classic, a notepad to write in and noise cancelling earphones for the aeroplane, lots and lots and lots of batteries and a spider web of cables. When you're packing your camera equipment into your suitcase, pouches are going to become your new best friend. Things like uh, <laughs> camera batteries, memory cards, little extra cameras. <laughs> pouches come in so handy to put all that stuff away so it's not just rolling around in your suitcase. <laughs> For my suitcase, I have an antler carry-on suitcase and it is the biggest type of suitcase that is FAA approved that can be carried onto an aeroplane. So the first thing I'm going to pack are little things such as hard drives and my memory card case that are going to fit inside the little awkward ridge that's at the bottom of the suitcase. The first thing I do is use this large pouch to put in my three lenses, the 24, the 35 and the 50 as well as one Canon 5D Mark III body without a lens attached. Next I'm packing the Mavic Pro, which everything that I need to fly, charge and use this drone fits in this little travel pouch. So the drone, the battery which needs to be unattached while you're flying, the charger, the controller and spare propellers all fits in this zip up bag. Next I'm packing my second Canon 5D Mark III body and once again the lens is unattached just to make it easier to pack into the suitcase and I'm putting it in this pouch by itself separately from everything else. I always keep one battery in each of my cameras because that doesn't count to the total amount of batteries that you're allowed to take on board. And then the rest of my spare Canon batteries go in this little pouch and the rest of my spare Sony batteries go in this pouch. So next I'm going to put in my speed light which fits nicely into this space in between my Mavic Pro and the Sony batteries. And on top of that I'm putting a pouch that's full of cables uh, including Canon chargers, Sony chargers, and a bunch of extra cables. I always make sure to keep at least one Canon charger and one Sony charger on me at all times and any spares go in my big suitcase. Last but not least, I fill in any crevices of my suitcase with some spare clothes that I either use to keep warm on the plane or to get changed into if we have a layover. And this basically locks everything into position and stops it from moving and knocking itself around in my bag. The final step of packing my suitcase is putting my mouse tablet and my Wacom tablet in the top section of my bag and we're done with my suitcase. Because you're allowed to have a personal item as your carry-on as well as a suitcase, I chose this handbag. It's super convenient having a side bag like this because you can just reach in and grab anything that you need really quickly such as your passport, your tickets, your phone. I used to have a backpack that I used to take with me but it was too much of a hassle to take it off my back constantly so this handbag is absolutely perfect. The awesome thing about this handbag is that it also has a little pouch inside and in here I put my phone, my wallet, my passport, my lip balm, my noise cancelling headphones, my iPod and all the other little bits and pieces that I might need to keep safe. I also like to keep my notepad inside my bag in case I get bored on the plane or I just want to do some writing. I also like to keep my MacBook Pro in my handbag in a slipping case. I like to do editing while I'm on the plane, so I also keep my MacBook Pro charger on me as well as two of my hard drives, one SSD and one backup hard drive. 
And then last but not least, the only thing that doesn't go into my suitcase or my handbag is my vlogging camera because that stays on me at all times, no matter what. <laughs> So I'm either holding it by the tripod when I'm going through security or around the airport or I just have it hanging off my shoulder while I'm walking around. <laughs> and for anyone who was wondering, my vlogging rig is a Sony a7S, a Sony 28mm lens f2 and a Rode micro mic all held together by Adobe. So I hope that's helped you give a little insight into how I pack my camera equipment and maybe that gives you some ideas on how you can pack yours. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all very soon. Bye!